Since the national recount began some three weeks ago, APNUAFC agents have been making objections to certain ballots claiming that the vote was cast using the names of either dead people or those who have migrated. The party officials have indicated that they had hundreds of death certificates to show that dead persons voted, and a recent article published in the state-owned Guyana Chronicle featured the death certificate of Chitnandani Ramdas, a late resident of Maria's Lodge, Esquib Coast. However, the woman's son, Puran Manbod, told this newscast that they never granted permission for the party to access or even use the dead certificate. They have them by, by the name of Fatih mm Yassim. -hmm. So I go wrong. I reach people and ask, but then come by me now and find out who named Ramdas. So, um, my wife Kelly is, um, she model right? That is, which is me mother. Uh -huh. Then she's that. So he said, okay. But he come in a way, like, if, like, if, um, she, like, he said, some water run over somebody's yard. And he come and just said, I like to enforce them. Yeah, when that do the later, then we observe the thing in the chronicle. So, if after he come the Monday, and then me, then me, I'm going to miss when he comes. Then me realize was that the fella was instigated the thing. But I always said, that now, he reached the next guy in the street, me in the street. Mm -hmm. And he tell the next guy, my son, I told him because my wife died. She went into. But if I do it again, he kind of right. The Evening News understands that no one actually voted under the dead woman's name, which was unticked on the voters' list from the polling station. Nevertheless, Puran contended that his mother's death certificate is a personal document for the family and should not be published for the world to see. To this end, the family has retained attorney Glenn Hanneman to pursue legal actions. And they would get certificates supposed to be in the family, personally. How come they gonna pick it up? Who authorize them for gonna pick it up? Mm -hmm. We we'll authorize them and not to authorize them for our system. Right? Yeah. So now, for example, if me go out the die with, let's say, for example, right? Give me what I did the other day with now. And this whole world get a death certificate. I would know how that would look to be family. I was made to understand that you guys are um, pursuing legal actions. Yes. And have you talked to anyone as yet? Yes, I've talked to them already. Meanwhile, BBPC executive and former Attorney General Anil Nandlal spoke about the issue on Tuesday and offered to assist the family in their legal pursuits. He believes that this is just one of many such infractions by the coalition. This is an abuse of state power, of securing people using government apparatus to extract people's personal document without their permission and use it, worse yet, use it for political purposes. Now, we don't know how many thousands of these have been generated for the purpose of this exercise. We don't know how many thousands. As I said, and it was published in the news, this is an offense. Reporting for the Evening News, Vanu Manakchand.